Hello and welcome to today's video. I tried to film a book, like a sit down book video the other day, but my camera picks up audio from basically the entire house and the children were being super, super loud. Uh, they were happy loud and sad loud, so I just, it didn't work for filming. And then by the time the house was like kind of quiet, the sun was no longer coming through the window nicely. So, we're doing a reading vlog instead. Today is Monday, so the reading vlog is going to be Monday, Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday. So in these two days, I'm going to challenge myself to see how much I can read. Yeah, I guess that's good. I'll see how much I can read these two days. So it's August the 21st. If you're a Canadian today, you have to vote. It's very important. So um, I was going to walk down with the kids. It is pouring rain so my mom is going to come to the house after she's done work and then when Alex is done work we're going to go vote and she's gonna watch the kids it's just easier to vote without children running around um so I'll just briefly talk about the books I read at the beginning of the month and then I'll kind of tell you what my plans are I guess for this two-day reading challenge here um I finished the five love languages by Gary Chapman I gave this a two out of five but then I ended up giving it a three out of five I'll talk about this in the wrap up. And then I read The Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd Jones. This was amazing. And I also read Serpent and Dove by Shelby Morin. Really liked this too. I also thought it was really good. So this is like a really nice hate to love trope if you like those. Some people think it's also like insta love. Um, if it is, it really didn't like bug me. Some insta love is like so painfully obvious that it really bugs me and it's not very well done. But this one, it didn't even cross my mind. So I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, these are the books that I've read. So for the two days, my goal initially was to start Reign of the Fallen and give the dark my love today. I was going to start one of these today. Um, except I'm still reading Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. For some reason, I'm in a reading slump now, probably because I've read like two five-star books and now I'm just like, oh my gosh. Um, but I am, where am I in the book? I'm like here probably. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to try and finish The Prisoner of Azkaban today. I started Hill House, um, The Haunting of Hill House, this morning, but uh, the introduction, I have the one that came in the Owl Crate box, and it has like a pre-introduction thing, and then it has an introduction, and then it goes into the book. The introduction was so long, I got so bored. I didn't read at all, I just kind of skimmed through, and then the introduction just kind of tells you how the story goes, it tells you the ending, it tells you like the ending line basically, and I've never read Haunting of Hill House, I've never really heard the story, I've never really looked into it, I've never watched a show, so the introduction just tells you everything about the book, so that was really frustrating, so then I started reading it and it was, I don't know. Nora's in her safe place. So I'm going to try finishing Prisoner of Azkaban today, and then um, also The Steel Prince, this one, and then Hill House, I would really like to get read in October, because um, that's like a creepy book, so I'd love to read it this month. We'll see. Honestly, that's probably all I'm going to be able to read is Prisoner of Azkaban and this, and then we'll see if I read Hill House or if I start next week. Oh, look what I found. So I organized all of the kids' um, memory boxes and like baby books. I need to fill out a bunch of stuff in the baby books and I need to print off a ton of pictures for their photo albums, but I have them organized in the cupboard now. But while I was doing that, I found these. And so um, this is Frida's toenail. She lost it. And then this is um, 
a claw here. It was stuck in Reginald's face, I believe, and there was blood on the end of it, but you can't really see it now. And my family thinks I'm weird that I kept them, but it's fine. And then in here, it's right here, we have Nora's puppy tooth. I found it September 15th, 2018. So, so cute. I'm keeping them. Ooh, and I found chocolate. We got Halloween candy a little too early. We've been eating them. I don't know if Alex knows I'm also eating them. Um, he thinks he's just eating them all. Ha ha. Okay. Hello. So today is day two of our two day reading vlog. Honestly, I haven't read anything. I brought Harry Potter to bed last night and didn't, didn't read. Um, I ended up watching The Good Place for way too long last night and I never actually got around to reading. Rye, let's please not play with that. Please don't. Play with that instead. So, I have like things to do on the computer tonight. I have to upload videos, edit videos. Um, I'll need to edit this video so it can go up Wednesday, which hopefully you'll be seeing this on Wednesday. Hopefully. So in my reading journal, I'm going to do a full video on like this for my November spread. Um, and let's see here. Um, I really like it. So I just have it all in pencil so far. So I'm going to be going over in pen and adding some stuff and filling it out a bit in the video, but I filled it out a little bit and I'll be adding it to it in the video and everything. Um, yeah. Are you planning on doing a NaNoWriMo for 2019? I am. I, I have like a, this so far, but I don't know how to do the tracker and I don't really like the font there, but that's fine. Look, do you want to show everyone in the reading vlog what you got up to this morning? You, he ate dog kibbles and it's all over his face. So, woo, kids are crazy. Kids are crazy. Ah! Ah! Okay, we have to go outside and play with Laura. But first, I need to do dishes and then grab a book to read outside while they play and show you what Riot got up to. Oh, also I changed my bookshelf. I'll show you that first. So this is my desk, now it's plain and weird looking, but I need to get an organizer to sit on top and put um, sewing stuff. I have it like crammed in here, so I need to get an organizer up there to organize everything. I got my ironing board there and then fabric. I need to start doing that soon. This way. Oh, dirty laundry, nice. So I changed this, I put the Narnia book end here. This is my currently reading TBR shop that'll constantly change. Up here, you want more milk? Okay, just a minute. Up here I have my owl crate box. It's empty. It's just pretty photo prophecy now. And then I have the other book end to keep up these ones. Uh, Halloween, October reading bingo. Then I have tripod. Change this a bit. Got this in fairy loot, I think. Then up here is Harry Potter. So these used to be on my desk and these ones were down here, but I just put it all up here. I might've been covering the speaker. Oops. These books were just pulled out to keep this up. Anyways, yeah. Instead of the picture, the picture's right here hiding and my other camera. It's just, see her? Nora. Nora. <laughs> okay. I need to go pick up dog poo and clean up all those toys. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it got all full of rain. The kids are going to have so much fun playing with that. Okay, we have to go outside. We have to go outside. <gasps> Let's go play outside. Let's go play with Nora. Quick. Let's go play with Nora. Yay, Nora. Oh, right. This is what Rai did. Oh, baby down. So... I was getting everyone ready to go grocery shopping. Uh, 
And then this is where I started cleaning it. And I had to use a magic eraser and now you can like see from where it's different with the paint. Yeah, so that's what he did. And then he also got it on the floor here and here. Oh, it's so messy. Hello and welcome to day three of the reading vlog. Nothing happened yesterday, so I'm extending this reading vlog. Today is Wednesday. I should have a video up. I don't. On my reading channel, I do have a vlog going up on Coast Friendly Vlog. But I don't have a reading vlog up, but I'm going to give you a little teaser of some videos that'll be going up all November. So this is the first time I'm going to participate in NaNoWriMo. I've never done it before. I've contemplated doing it, but I've never actually done it. So I spent last night um, looking at the website, signing up for the website, um, looking in my local area, and there's tomorrow actually, there's like a meet and greet dinner, I think. I need to double check the time, but that's cool. I might go to that. I might take the kids or just one of the kids. I'm not sure. So that's exciting. And I was watching videos of people who do it every year. And then I also found a bunch of resources that I printed out. So I have like this stack of paper because I read things so much better if it's printed out than if it's just on my computer. Also, my desk doesn't have a lot of writing room. So um, this way I can work at my kitchen table. So I have like quite a few stacks of, um, I may have printed too many because I, in my story that I've been wanting to write for like more than a year now, there's like a group of characters. Um, so, um, I have a bunch of like things to fill out here on like the character. So you give them like an in-depth sort of backstory, personality, you create the character so you know like a lot about them before starting the book. I'm not sure like what writing style I have. I haven't tried to write anything in so long. So I'm going to try and create the characters as best as I can. Um, and then I need to figure out how I want to write the book because I have so many characters. Do I just want one main character and then just like side characters where you, it doesn't switch in between them or do I want to take that leap and write from all of their perspectives, like each chapter changes. I don't know. See, I like books both ways, so I'm not sure. And then I have like, um, just like things about like plotting, um, yeah help me so I don't if I get stuck I have like to help me outline basically anyways yes so this is what I'll be doing for the last week of October apparently it's called Freptober and I probably should have started at the beginning of October but I didn't know that that I didn't know I was gonna do NaNoWriMo until like last week the end of last week I don't know a few days ago today's Wednesday so yeah so I have all of my printouts for it, and I have a notebook already. So this is going to be me prepping the last week of October, and then November. Probably won't read anything except the parenting book that I would like to read. Other than that, I will be spending every waking moment that I'm not with my little children to write. Okay, so my dryer's on, so it might be really loud. I'm not sure how the camera will pick that up. So, we had lunch, uh, Rai's still napping, Nate has also nursed, and I think went back to bed now. Um, it is 
2.24 and I have finished um, this graphic novel. I really liked it. Apparently the second one I think is out now. So I kind of want to like run to the store and get the second one. Um, but I'm not going to because uh, the kids are not ready to go in the buggy. So yeah, but I really liked it. I thought it was fun. I honestly haven't read um, the Shades of Magic trilogy yet, but this definitely got me excited for it. This is like a prequel to the series and I really liked it. It got me more excited, honestly, because I started reading it a while ago. I started reading it twice and each time I just stopped reading it and apparently it's like really, really good and I don't doubt it, but I just for some reason never kept reading it. But after reading this, I am pretty interested. I don't know. I'm interested to see what happens in the second volume. I'm interested to see what happens in the novels that it's a prequel for. Also, um, I some people don't like the art style, but I did here. Um, it's darker and some people found it hard to follow, but it wasn't really that bad. I really thought it was really nice. Um, it is really dark though, but I do like the art style. Oh my gosh. Okay. It is 327. Alex should be done work soon. He might be coming home soon. I have no idea if he's working in town or out of town. I think he's in town today. Nate and I are sitting on the couch folding laundry and I'm listening to Dance of Thieves. I have listened to 18 minutes since my last update. Um, it gosh my head hurts so bad but I've had too much coffee today I just need more water I think or earplugs because oh my god Gwen and Rye are so loud Rye woke up and cleared off his plate of lunch they each had half a sandwich with like chicken cheese pickles then they each had cut up apple slices um, some extra pieces of cheese and also two eggs they ate so much. They both cleared their plates. Um, so now Rai woke up, ate, he played a bit of Animal Crossing, and Gwen has been waiting very patiently for him to wake up. So they are so loud and hyper. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm going to check on them, turn back on the audiobook, and finish folding this laundry, put it away, and do some more house cleaning things and yes then listen to the audiobook finish harry potter nanowrimo prep edit videos that's basically the whole day anyways i'm tired so tired oh but fun little tip if you drink coffee creamer which i never ever got coffee creamer ever until recently I would always just use milk and sugar because coffee creamer just has a bunch of crap in it, I think. I don't really know. Like flavoring, syrup, everything. But it's easy. You just pour a bit and you don't add milk and sugar. Anyways, that's the laziest thing I've ever heard. It was on sale, so I got some and I've been craving like, like drinks from Starbucks and drinks from Starbucks are so expensive. So why would I spend like $4 on one drink when I could get coffee creamer and it's two for $5, like two nice size things for $5 and then I could have a lot of cups of coffees. So it just makes more sense financially if I want flavor coffee to just do it at home. Anyways, I got, I want um, like seasonal ones and one of my favorite from like favorite Christmas one is like the peppermint mocha and guess who found um peppermint hot chocolate peppermint hot chocolate no peppermint chocolate um coffee creamer i did it tastes like after eight it is so good if you like peppermint and chocolate it's amazing if you don't like it do not get it it was so delicious so oh nate's asleep apparently i'm boring am i putting anyone else to sleep i don't know 
Let's see if I fall asleep editing this. Um, yeah, so that was really yummy. And then I got hazelnut because I just love hazelnut coffee creamer because I used to use it when I worked at the gas station. I love hazelnut. Yeah. Anyways, that that was it. Anyways, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go fold more laundry. So bye.